The outlying Kinmen Islands of Taiwan, which sit just a few kilometers away from China, have been in the spotlight as tensions rise across the strait. What was a battleground during the Chinese Civil War is today a popular tourist destination. As CNA's Victoria Jen finds out, even at the height of China's recent military drills around Taiwan, local tourists continued to travel there. After touching down in Kingman, I'm welcomed by an unusual sight. The airport lobby is buzzing with tourists, flying in from different parts of Taiwan. There isn't the slightest sense of apprehension in the air. Major attractions are full of visitors. Everyone seems oblivious to the fact that they're right in the middle of a large-scale military drills conducted by the Chinese PLA. Tensions are running high after U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's surprise visit to Taiwan early this month, which prompted the strongest retaliatory response from Beijing. The locals and Taiwan tourists alike have been enjoying peace for so long, to the point that peace is almost taken for granted. Here's a tourist hotspot in Kingman to simulate what it was like during the last military confrontations between both sides decades ago during the Civil War. In 1958, China fired nearly half a million shells at Kingman, which killed hundreds and injured thousands more. It's also known as the 823 Bombardment and the Second Taiwan Strait Crisis. Meanwhile, local tourism in Kingman is fighting its own battle to stay afloat during the COVID-19 pandemic. Before the pandemic, Kingman attracted around two and a half million tourists in 2019. Nearly half of those were from mainland China. Now a boom in local tourism may help fill in some of the gap, but local residents think Kingman still needs to rely on China for more tourism dollars and better development. Forty-nine-year-old Ye Changhui is a tour guide in Kingman for nearly ten years, but his income has dropped by more than one third during the pandemic. The suspension of three mini links between Kingman and Chinese city of Xiamen due to COVID-19 hurt his business the most, which kept mainland tourists from visiting. From 2020年2月小山東停開就是暫停之後,基本幾乎啊,所有的旅遊業多數的話,瑞減太多,大概只剩下的話三分之一台客來。in July, the government has doled out 180 million U.S. dollars to subsidize Taiwan's tourism sector. Since then, there has been a boom in the number of local visitors traveling to the island. But even so, Ye said the number was far from what it used to be, especially without the tourism dollars from the other side of the street. Many like Ye who rely on tourism for a living hopes Kingman will reopen to Chinese visitors soon, despite Beijing's saber-rattling. Victoria Jen, CNA, Kingman Island.